Today I have booked a Skip the Line tour of the Roman Forum and the Colosseum. The ticket comes with a guide and the tour is expected to last around four hours. The tour starts with the Roman Forum. The guide explains many things such as the origin of the word basilica. She details the death of Caesar and shows us his cremation location. The guide also explains how the Forum was buried in silt and how some of the buildings were partially buried and then built upon. The guide then takes us to Palatine Hill, where she explains the origins of Rome. She shows us the palace ruins and the stadium ruins. The forum is amazing and I would have loved to have spent more time here. We leave the Roman Forum and the tour group heads to the Colosseum. The entry line is so long. It really is worth it to book a tour as the tour groups get into the site more quickly. The good thing about having a guide is they are able to tell you interesting facts while standing in line. So it makes the time go a little bit quicker. It isn't long before we are inside and climbing up the well-worn stairs leading to the upper level. Once you see it, it is such an incredible sight when you walk out and see the centre stage of the Colosseum. Make sure you look out of the windows of the Colosseum. Hmm, are they windows? Anyway, look out from the Colosseum so you can catch some amazing scenes such as the Basilica in the Forum and the Arch of Constantine. So I have just finished a tour of the Forum, Palatine, Palatine Hill and the Colosseum. There it is in all its glory. Now the only problem is, is um, the tour I booked, we went and saw the Forum first, and then the Colosseum. So unfortunately at the end of the tour, uh, well, I mean it's not unfortunate, we were still left to our own devices in the Colosseum, but I would have liked more time in the Forum. I think there was just much more there to explore. I learned a lot. The most interesting thing for me is I learned now why there are holes in the, uh, in the Colosseum facade and that is because the metal that held the blocks together was broken. So, so yeah so the Colosseum is a must see when you're in Rome. Um, it is it was still relatively busy. We did have to wait a little bit in line even though we had the, the quick tickets. Um, but you know it's really worth it. It's worth it to see some of these buildings. Um, you just never know how long they're going to be here for because what I learned was that part of the reason why the building has deteriorated uh, was because of earthquakes. So um, if more earthquakes could occur in the future and there could be more damage to the building so you just never know. Absolutely incredible. I'm so glad that I've um, visited and I've seen this amazing building. We walk across the road to a restaurant that overlooks the Colosseum. It has a second level, so we're able to go up onto the terrace and we are given a table right at the front. We have the most superb view. So 
So we've just had lunch and um, we did pay premium for the views because we did have some incredible views of the Coliseum uh, and the food was delicious um, except the servings were really little so we're on the hunt now and the lookout for some more like street food stuff maybe a slice of pizza or something anyway um, what we're going to do now is go and check out the uh, Circus Maximus um, which is where the chariot races used to used to take place. Chariot races? Yeah, chariot races used to take place. Okay, so this is the Circus Maximus, uh, which is where chariot races used to occur. And that is the old palace uh, on the Palatine Hill, uh, which is the birthplace of Rome, um, which was where Romulus, 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 sorry, uh, Remus Romulus, uh, was said to have washed up uh, on the shores of the uh, time. Tiber? Tiber. Yeah. Tiger. 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 the river. Oh, the Tiber. The Tiber River. Anyway, so there is, uh, by the looks of it, um, something you can visit down there. We're not going to because we're still making our way through to the other building. Um, and I'd probably prefer to spend more time there. So, um, yeah, this is really great. It's just a big open field. But um, what I like is, is kind of imagining what would have gone on here uh, all those years ago. So we've come to the Museum of Conservatory uh, because we wanted to see the Capitoline uh, statue. So that is the she-wolf with Romulus and Remus. So we are here, there is giant Constantine's, Constantino's head and feet and a hand, um, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and see our, if we can go and find this statue. We've just finished in the museum and I have to admit it was fantastic. It was exactly what I would like to see in a museum. So there was a great mix of um, statues and frescoes and paintings and just everything. 
I would highly recommend um, coming to the Museum uh, de Contemporary. Contemporary? De Contemporary? Um, so, yeah, it's great. And uh, yeah, and you get to see the Romulus and Remus statue, which is fantastic. So, now I think. Um, I think that's pretty much going to be it for us for tonight. Um, we'll go get some dinner and then we'll head back and rest. We've got an early start in the morning um, over to the Vatican. I did choose quite an early, quite an early tour because uh, the early one was, cheap, was cheaper, and then you know, just even half an hour difference made a lot of money difference. Um, so yeah, um, so early night because we've got an early start in the morning. But um, otherwise, yeah, that's. That's it for our festival day in Rome and it's been amazing and um, seen so many amazing things. Mm -hmm.